Hi, my name is Davide Idosi, author of the Start from Maya. In this video, I want to show you what's new inside Mnet Pro 3.0. The first things you need to you need to know is Mnet Pro 3.0 is now a plugin, so you don't need to override your existing preferences. You don't need to create a new preferences or make uh, difficult difficult uh, um, combination of files for. Uh, install Mainline Pro over your configuration. The only thing that you need to do is download your version of Mainline Pro, open up a 2018 or 2017 version, depends what you're using. Now you can see here I have my Maya installation, so just I, I need to only close this installation. So it's going to close this this, uh, this uh, window of Maya. Go over my folder, on my document folders, of course, in under Windows Document Maya copy this folder, in my case I'm using Maya 2018, and copy here, so as you can see no, no files are overwritten when you install over Mainline Pro, and after that uh, open up Maya for the second time. Um, an important note is if you already have Maya 2000, Mainline Pro 2.0 and you want to use 3.0, you need to delete your old preferences and restart from scratch. Right. All right. Um, I want to close these two option here. So this thing uh, is a little bit slow. All right. Of course. Now I want to open up my Max Memory Maya. Now for install Mainline Pro, after copy the 2018 folder, just type source May 9 and give enter to your keyboard. Now I want to make uh, this version of Mainline Pro 3.0 more similar to 2.0, so press Z, left mouse button, and uh, select and uh, closing my shelf, uh, closing my icon bars, and closing my menu bars. So in this way I can close uh, some UI I don't use. Now I need to using my anti-aliasing, so Z, left mouse button, viewport, anti-aliasing, right, and I want the interactive creation. Z, menu mouse button, go to north, Again, go to North and enable the Poly and the Curve Interactive Creation. What I do now, I can I have make this release a lot more similar over the 2.0 release. So this is because I have removing almost all the custom preferences. So you can use your preferences uh, without need to uh, need to use my one, my own. So I want to save this workspace. So Z, left mouse button, UI elements, and save workspace. Everything is fine. Everything is, is ready as always. Um, there, is, there is no in this release. There is no more uh, new uh, tools. The only new new tools is the ability to combine and spread curves. So if you create, for example, a circle and press again Z, middle mouse button, go to North, create another circle, and uh, you have, for example, these two circles. So you want to combine each other, but Z, left mouse button, and of course, you can combine the curve. Uh, you can separate the curve, so Z, left mouse button, separate the curve. The only, the only uh, elements I, I the, only, the only suggestion I give you is not to combine a really combined curve. Um, if you don't want to use the Z, the, 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 the mouse wheel for zoom, you can use Z, left mouse, sorry, the select code one, Z, left mouse button, and well zoom. It's important to remember that uh, contextual works workflow working only in main and pro workspace. And if you want an install main and pro, you just need to uh, write this one, this script source main 9 underscore install and give enter. Alright, this is everything, and uh, I hope you find this useful, and bye.